Hi, this is uh, Dave Patterson, Armando Fox. Hi, everybody. Uh, we're welcome you to a brand new offering, the first time ever, 169.2, which is a follow-on to the courses we did on both Coursera and on EDX. So yeah, you probably uh, some of you will recognize us as the instructors for CS 169.1 on edX, which was software engineering for software as a service. Uh, we definitely advise you to have taken that course either on edX or the previous version that we offered several months ago on Coursera. Uh, and uh, if you didn't take that course and do pretty well in it, uh, you may find this one challenging. So we definitely recommend 169.1 as a prereq for this one. Uh, so in terms of topics, one of the topics covered in 169.2 is legacy code and how to deal with it and how to approach it. When we surveyed a lot of the Silicon Valley software companies that hire our students, this was their number one request on uh, what we should be, be doing a better job covering in a university course. So uh, we think we have a pretty good approach to dealing with legacy code that takes advantage of the agile techniques that you built up in 169.1. Uh, we're also going to cover design patterns, we're going to cover how to work in teams and use version control properly in a team setting. Uh, we're going to talk some about JavaScript and its relationship to the SaaS ecosystem. Uh, and we're going to talk about basic DevOps, so performance basics, security basics when you deploy onto Heroku. So these are all topics uh, that are in the second half of the textbook that Dave and I wrote, Engineering Long-Lasting Software. Uh, one thing we would point out is uh, we believe Compared to part one of the course, which uh, was focused on Rails, BDD, and TDD, um, those are techniques that uh, there was a lot of existing literature out there and tutorials and things online that you could do uh, if you wanted to supplement the book or if you preferred not to get the book. Um, we think it may be more difficult to find those materials for part two, not because there's a lack of material, but in fact, uh, every chapter in the book that's covered in part two of the course you could find many books and many sites that go into great detail. So as the book authors, our challenge was to identify the most important and relevant uh, sort of 10% of that material and weave it together in a way that fits uh, with the overall Agile and SaaS approach that we've been taking. Uh, so you may want to uh, reconsider getting the book for part two if you haven't done that. And uh, this part will have homework assignments, uh, programming assignments like we did last time. There'll be two on legacy code and one simple one on performance uh, that we'll do this time. I would say that we do savor the students at Berkeley who've taken the courses and they really emphasize the topics this time. Those have gone into industry and what did they value and they talked about performance, they talked about legacy code, they talked about JavaScript which is part of this 169.2. Um, and the last thing that we want to remind people of is Compared to 169.1, this material is definitely uh, less mature and more fresh. Uh, in fact, some of the material you're going to be seeing is being presented in its current format for the first time at Berkeley just a couple of weeks before we put it on edX. So this course is going to be somewhat rougher around the edges. Uh, you can expect the material to improve uh, as we offer the course more and more times, but we just want people to be aware that this is the very first offering uh, we're doing of these topics. So uh, hopefully everybody will get something out of it and you'll give us suggestions on how to make it better, but this is an alpha offering, so thanks in advance for your patience. And I think that's it. That's we uh, look forward to seeing a lot of you in the course and have a great time. Bye.